Well, hello there. How are you doing today? This is my really bad English accent, so please do not tell me it's bad when I know that it is. <laughs> I wish I could, I wish I could do an English accent good, but I cannot. Today I am going to do a full face with almost all samples. So the only thing that's not going to be a sample is I may have to use a little bit of my waterproof mascara. I'm looking at my table, my lip pencil, maybe bronzer I may add, highlighter, and my eyeshadows. Everything else is going to be um, things I've gotten for, from samples. I've had some of this stuff for a while, so hopefully it's all still good. But that's what we're going to do today. So it's going to introduce me to some new things. Or it's going to introduce you to some things. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's get into this. Oh, before we start, make sure you click that button below and hit the subscribe button. And also, when you do that, make sure you click that bell. Because anytime I share a new video, you will be notified. Check that box if you're on your de desktop. Um, in November, I'm going to be sharing a new video Monday through Friday, and I don't want you to miss out. I subscribe to a lot of different channels, so if I don't ring that bell, I just think, what happened? I haven't seen the videos. I kind of forget about them. Um, so make sure that you do click on the bell so you'll know I'm still around, all right? So let's get into this. So I just moisturized my face. That's all I did. So I'm going to go in with this, and I'm going to get my magnifying glass, all right, because I can't, Mama can't read. I'm going to try this SPF 30 Kula Face. It says it's a BB mineral sunscreen and it's unscented. It has a matte tint. So I've never heard of this before. And honestly, I don't even know where I got this. I just had a bag full of samples, um, maybe from Sephora. So it's kind of, it's that color right there. We'll see. Is it going to be, I don't think it's going to be, no. Kind of reminds me, oh, it feels nice. Uh, we're not going to talk about ingredients or anything. We're just trying all this out. So this feels very nice, very silky. It says it's oil-free, but it has a nice slick feeling to it, but not greasy feeling. Um, but when you put it on, it reminds me of the, the Australian gold. So we'll see if I like that. Next, I'm going to go in with, I have a couple things here. Uh, I'm going to try the Glam Glow. Nude Glow Illuminating Moisturizer. So let's put that on next under our foundation. A little package here. Ooh, gosh, it really comes out. Okay, so it looks like that, if you can kind of see that. Hopefully you can. I'm just gonna rub it between my hand. Ooh, very fragrancy. I should have brought a towel in here. I may have to get a towel because um, feels nice, but I don't see how it's going to illuminate me unless it's just going to make me look greasy. I don't know. Let me get a towel. It doesn't look like it's luminizing. I don't know. Should I be crazy and do this too? I'm going to have a lot of stuff on my face. Um, so this is, I'm going to do it. Why not? Um, this is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Instant Complexion Refresh. Let's put some of that on. I hope I'm not going to look like a hot mess. So this is, ooh, it's purple just like the thing it's kind of watery-ish and I'm just going to put a little bit of that in because I feel like I'm really putting a lot of stuff on here does it have a scent too no I'm just still smelling that glam glow that stuff has a really interesting smell I mean it's not a bad smell it's just that I smell it so now I'm going to go in with the Chanel Le Tint Ultra Tinu in 10 beige I probably totally butchered that um, I hate when packages, I can't, I need to get scissors now. Hold on. Sorry about that. This is a sample I got over the summer from Nordstrom, so the color should be right if I can get it out. There's a color right there. I got, she matched me up. Looks kind of light. Oh, it's very perfumey. That's one thing about some of the Chanel stuff is I put so much perfumey scent in there. Why do they do that? Okay, put that on and let me get my It Cosmetics brush. And, whoa, it's a light color. Very perfumey. Blending in pretty nicely though. Let's see how the coverage is. I don't have to make any more.
very light coverage. I mean, so it's okay. Let's see. The interesting thing will be, how is this all going to stay like on my face all day? I'm sorry. I'm not flipping you off. Hope I don't get demonetized for that. Just using my middle finger to put my makeup on. YouTube drives me nuts. Okay, let me put it over here too, just a little bit, which I usually don't do. And you know what? I'm going to do this too because you know what? I forgot to use my eye makeup primer. I should have done that. I'll just use this. So, um, hmm. I don't know right now. My first impression is I'm not crazy about it because I just feel like it's really light. Feels like there's a lot of alcohol in it because it's sort of I think it's burning my face a little bit. I don't know. All right, so that's that. Now I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown concealer. This is warm beige. So I don't know how dark this is going to be. This I did not get. Ooh, ooh. Let's see. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's really pink. So let me take some of this off. It almost is like, I don't know if it's getting bad. Okay, let's just try to blend that out. Um. very goopy. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this or if it's such a starting to get bad. Like it feels sort of thick. Like I don't know if it's probably that thick. And it's very, oh my. Mm. Okay, we're going to have to fix that. I'm a little shocked by this, but I've actually been using um, shape tape lately. Yeah. And this <laughs> But I have to put this on because that stuff is way too orange for me. Um, this is what I've been doing with the shape tape and I've actually been liking it is I put it on down here and then I just gradually work it a little bit towards my, with this brush. I love this brush from It Cosmetics. You have to get this brush, seriously. I love it. Um, so I just gradually work it on up there by my eyes and I'm not getting that creasing. So now we're going to go with powder, and this is the Lancome Dual Finish All Day Foundation and Powder One. It says you can use it as powder or foundation, so we're going to try it. And pounce it on. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. That is very nice. I like this. Very nice. Very nice. Has a little, just a really light perfumey scent, but not bad. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to actually, I'm just going to add a little bit of glow. I'm going to go in with Starburst from Anastasia, her sugar glow kit. Let's put a little bit of this right on top of my cheek. Now I'm going to go in and use this. This is another sample. It was kind of nice. It came in like this little compact sample. So pretty. This is the color Meal Glace, M-I-E-L and G-L-A-C-E, Meal Glace. I don't know. So that's oil-free blush. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do my bronzer, but maybe I won't do my bronzer today. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I really like that. That's so pretty. Now I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury. You're probably like, oh my God. Yeah, I know. Pillow talk. So I'm going to start a new series and I think what I've decided to do, oh, we're going to do a new lipstick. So these lipsticks are from MAC and I think I'm going to use Oh, they don't have Whirl. I'm going to use, ooh, I'm going to try Velvet Teddy. Let me try that one. 
Ooh, that's really pretty. Maybe not bad. Put a um, little dark, a little dark for me, but I think if I put a little bit of my Marc Jacobs on it, I can lighten it up. Uh-huh. Oh, that's pretty, right? With the Marc Jacobs. I think without it is a little too dark for me. You know how I am about my colors. I love this palette from Jaclyn Hill. So I am gonna do something a little different. Not different, I mean, I'm gonna use my colors, but I'm gonna do something a little different. I am gonna go in first and use this color up here. I'm sorry if you hear that noise. I know someone had mentioned in one of my last videos or like, I keep hearing, you know, stuff banging on your table because I have a card table. That's what I use, so there's not much I can do about that. I'm sorry if it's annoying to you, but um, that's how that goes. Tap, tap, tap on my table. You're going to hear noise. So I'm just blending this out. I'm going to go in with this color. Go right up here. And I'm bringing it down here today. Don't usually do this. But today, I am. And I would tell you the colors, but I can't because I don't have I don't have them. That's where they really messed up on this. But I think most, aren't most, Mer um, Mor I almost said Morphe. Yeah, there is Morphe. I think most Morphe palettes do not have names, I don't believe. But it would have been nice if they did that. I don't know why they didn't do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this color right here. This one right here. I just love this palette. I just love it. There's a couple palettes that I'm really thinking of getting, and one of it is from Tarte. I am not a big Tarte, like, I don't like all their uh, shadows, but, and I do have some that I'm going to talk about soon, but today I just wanted to share this. But tomorrow, maybe the day after, I'll be talking about my new Lorac palette. Um, they have one that's called Toasted, and um, the colors are saying yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this bright color right here. I think somebody said this is called Pukey, which is kind of like interesting. Color right here. I'm going to keep on layering colors. I love this palette. I love, I mean, I'm just more of a, like a neutral color. I mean, that's what I wear most of the times, but I'm going to be sharing different eye looks with different colors with you. Um, I'm going to do a really fun holiday. Maybe I'll do, I might even do a couple of holiday looks. And I'm going to go in with this color right here. So pretty. Love it. I'm going to blend. I think I'm going to go in with this color right here, right there. And actually, I'm gonna mix it with this one here. Just gonna put that right on my corner here. And this is my E45 brush. If you wanna see an eye tutorial, I've shared a couple already. Um, and I shared a, like a step-by-step -step one of the brushes that I use. And I think below, 
if I remember, I'll try to always look at, with, click on show more and I always share everything that I shared in this video. I'll even share all the samples that I, that I got today. I'll put it below. Isn't this pretty? Oh my gosh, I love this combo. So pretty. I just love this palette. I mean, I cannot say enough good things about this palette. This is probably one of my all-time favorite palettes. I have a lot of other ones that are going to be coming that I'm really excited about for during the day. And I just need to... Pro oh, yes. Yeah, that's pretty. Actually, might even take a little bit of this in here. Oh, that's pretty. That's kind of like what I do. I just kind of mix it up a little bit with my colors. That is so pretty. I didn't use any uh, glitter glue today either. I'm just, just not. I don't know why I'm just not. I just want to blend my colors out a little bit more. I'm going to go in with the same colors that I used on the end there. And I'm going to put it right on my Right here, right on my lash line. Now I want to add my little highlight. And uh, for that, I just love this one. I've actually used this on my face too as a highlighter. It's really pretty. So just right underneath my brow. That's where I like to add a little highlight. And today I'm going to add a little add a little bit of good glow. I'm going to go in with that same highlighter and just use that same brush that I used under my eyes that I just made sure I wiped off really good. I'm just going to put a little bit in my corner here. Right here. Right in my corner. So let me do this before I get to my eyebrows. I am going to use Bobbi Brown liner. It has this little brush that it came with. Okay, I need my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Wish me luck on this. This is like tricky liner to do. What am I doing? Start right there in the corner. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice, Bobby Brown. Oh, that's pretty. The only thing is, I don't know if I like this brush because I feel like I need to get it thinner and it's hard to do with this brush. Like I'm making it too thick. This is my Smashbox fishnet. I think it's Yes, it's sharpened. So I'm just going to go in my waterline. Okay, I need to get this corner here too because I just didn't get that good enough. There we go. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm just going to use some black and I want to apply that to my my upper liner and I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I just like to do that because I feel like it just helps set it. And then when I curl my lashes, I don't have an issue. If you don't have to curl your lashes, you are really lucky. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz and I'm just going to finish doing this off camera. I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to come right back and I'm going to try a sample mascara so I will be right back all right so I already curled my lashes and then I added a coat because I have to do this of um waterproof mascara this is a hypnos drama from Lancome I really love this mascara but it transfers because my lashes are longer and I know I think it was Sharon you had suggested getting the Lancome um, lash like it's a primer booster 
I can't use that because it's not waterproof. It has water in it. So any mascara that has water, and there are waterproof mascaras that have water, I cannot use it on my lashes because it will make my lashes go flat. It's just the water content in it. Just think about fine here. You know, fine, that's on my lashes. My lashes are fine. So if I put anything too heavy on my lashes, even if I curl them, they will just go like that. So that's, that's why I have to use waterproof. I need to use something that has a lot of waxes in it. And that's what a lot of waterproof, really good waterproof um, mascaras have. Anything with water content in it, and I have to, like I said, I have to check the waterproof because some of those have water. It's like the first ingredient, can't use it. I know it doesn't make any sense, but I just, I know my lashes. So I'm gonna try the Miss Your Big. Um, ooh, I like the brush. So I got a sample of this. I love, see, I love brushes like this. These are great. Um, but I just, why can't they make this in a waterproof? And then maybe, well, I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. I'm saying that and I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. I love the brush. So yeah, so that's why I added a coat of the waterproof first. And let it dry. It's pretty, but honestly, let's leave that for a second so you can see the difference, okay? We're gonna go back to this one. So that's the Monsieur Big. Now, I only have a coat of this on this eyelash, but I'm gonna put this on the other eye so you can see. I love this mascara, it's just, I like it because I love the brush and I love that it thickens and it lengthens my lashes. It gets a little clumpy, but I like the clumpy on me because my lashes are so thin. I guess they are pretty close, aren't they? They are really close. Really close. But this one is starting to get clumpy and I like that. Can you see it? See, I think like this side, and I'll put another, let's put another coat on here just to see, but I feel like I see my lashes better on that side. But let's try. I'm gonna wiggle it a little bit. See, I just, the formula in the other one's better for me. See, it's nice. It's nice, but I think I still like the other one better. Like, okay, this is like, what, I, what am I on? Am I on coat number three or four now? Starting a little clumpy. Hmm. I feel like it's, I don't know. It's pretty close, isn't it, actually? Now that I'm putting more on. Pretty close. Pretty close because it's starting to get that clumpy and I like that. Because it just makes my lashes look thicker. So I like it to be a little clumpy. Like I said, I know not everybody likes that. Um, but I really do like that. But my lashes are going straight. Yeah. I can see it, yep. Can you see, do you see my lashes? So it's just too heavy, even with my waterproof, I could see my lashes are starting to go out instead of, you know, sitting up high like this, they're starting to go like that already. Oh, it drives me nuts. So now you know what I go through. I mean, you can still see it, but I can see that they're falling, they're not, they're not up, and I don't wanna curl them. I know some people do that, but you have to be careful you have to be careful curling your lashes after you put mascara on or you can rip them off, especially waterproof. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, focus on me. Okay, so that is it. This is my full face using um, mostly samples. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was fun trying some new things. 
I will leave all the links below with everything that I use, but I love this look so much. I love that blush. That blush color is so pretty. I love the way the foundation looks. I don't know how it's gonna you know, wear on my face, but I will keep you updated and post it on that. Um, it's very perfumey, so I didn't like that, but I really love the way my makeup looks. I have really nice glow today. I love my eyes. Mascara, wah, wah, but you know how I am. I have to use my waterproof, and even though I did the waterproof first, kind of making my lashes go a little straight, and I don't like that. And <laughs> so, anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I love connecting with you guys, so please make sure. I have all the links, so just click that show more and you'll find my, my handles for all those um, social media platforms. And I'll also always share what I'm wearing in the video and everything I talked about. So that is it. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.